good morning to one and all <clears throat> my name is dr d sudhakar working as professor and head of mechanical department at siddhartha institute of science and technology putt today we are going to discuss about this cad cam subject cad means computer aided design and cam means computer aided manufacture under this cad cam subject our today's topic is automation and manual cad cam now first we will discuss about what is meant by automation automation can be defined as the technology concerned with the application of complex mechanical electronics and computer based systems in the operation and control of the manufacturing systems the main purpose of the the what is meant by automation in simple words automation is the process of running the machinery without any human intervention by the application of mechanical electrical electronics and computer based systems that is the meaning the automation can be defined as the technology concerned so here we are going to technology that technology is related to the mechanical electrical electronics and computer based systems now what is meant by cad cam cad means computer aided design with the help of computer we are going to design the component and cam means computer aided manufacturing here we are going to manufacture the components with the help of this computers so computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing it is the technology concerned with the use of computers to perform the design and manufacturing functions so in designing place or designing of the components and the manufacturing of the components in both the areas we are going to use these computers or we are going to take the help from the computers that's why it is known as computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing now coming to the product cycle this is the product cycle of the computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing this product cycle of computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing basically broadly divided into three categories the first one is the synthesis then cad process and then the manufacturing process so in the synthesis place here we are going to find out or we are going to collect the requirements from the market see here from here the requirements comes from the marketing according to the marketing needs we are going to find out what exactly the requirements of the customers based upon the requirements of the customers we are going to pre prepare the design needs so what exactly the what type of components are already exist in the market and what extra features the customers are expecting what extra features what extra what extra functionalities they are expecting or what extra uh, new machinery they are expecting so based upon all those things we are going to prepare this design needs based upon the design needs we are going to prepare the design definitions and specifications and requirements based on this one collecting the relevant designs information and feasibility study if everything is over then we are going to go for the design conceptualization so here we are going to prepare the different different design concepts and we are going to allocate the different different persons and finally based on that one we are going to design molding and simulation before manufacturing the any component we have to perform all these operations or the process by means of the computer by means of the design process that is the cad process here we are going to design modeling we are, we are going to modeling modeling by means of the packages like a proe ketia uni graphics like that and then we are going to simulate how this modeling will works based on that one we are going to do the analysis design analysis on design optimization and where exactly we can optimize the size shape color and functionality everything we are going to optimize the design and then we are going to evaluate how pakka it is working how exactly it is working how correctly it is working after evaluation we are going to prepare the design documentation and communications and after that we are going to supply this entire design related documents and uh, drawings everything to the production 
department under the and here the process planning will be start in the under this process planning there are different category um, ways are different uh, departments are there production planning design and procurement of new tools order materials nc numerical control computer numerical control dynamic numerical control programming see here once the process planning coming to the production department immediately we are going to plan for the production we are going to plan for the production and based on that one based upon the quantity of the components to be produced based on that one we are going to procurement of the raw materials procurement of the human material human resources or procurement of the other things what exactly required in order to produce the components and uh, order of raw materials and in order to do all this process some machines are required it may be numerical control machines it may be computer numerical control machines or it may be dynamic numerical control machines so these are all the things we are going to con concentrate so after that after getting all those things then we will start the production and after production we are going to check the quality control means how exactly without without any defects we have to manufacture those things so our teach and every step we have to check the quality and we have to the quality control department will take care of all those things once they are checking the functionality and everything is tested fine then we will do the packing and then we are going to the shipping to the dealers from the dealers it is going to transfer to the retailers and then it will reach the market here the customer will use those components after using these components the customers will give some feedback otherwise our persons the industry persons will collect the feedback from this marketing people or the customers and again it is all those requirements again it will be transferred to the design process if any modifications are required then uh, again we are going to start entire process again at so <coughs> So this is the entire product cycle in computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing. So this is related to the design process and this is related to the CAD process and this is related to the manufacturing related process. Now coming to the definitions of this one, CAD. CAD can be defined as the use of computer systems to create modification and analysis or optimization in the design process so while designing of the any components by using any cad tools with the help of the computer systems these with the help of this computer and software mechanical software tools we are going to create those design and if it required modify those designs and after modification we will analyze and after analysis if it required, we will do the, some optimization. So all these things will be carried out with the help of this computer and a mechanical software systems. Now coming to the CAM, computer aided manufacturing. Computer aided manufacturing is use of computer systems to plan, manage and control the operations of the manufacturing plant through either direct or indirect computer interface with the plant's production resources. So in case of this manufacturing or producing of those components, first we have to plan. If it is a small plant, then everything you can do the manually. If it is the biggest plants, then it is not, it is impossible to do all the things manually. Must and should, we have to take the help from the computer systems for planning purpose and how to manage the resources and how to control and uh, the operations of the manufacturing plant in all these cases we are going to use these computers either directly or indirectly then what is meant by sim computer integrated manufacturing so this computer integrated manufacturing refers to use of computer controlled machineries and automation systems so computer controlled all the machineries are controlled by the computer itself and at the same time automation is also carried out without any manual intervention to manufacture the products this computer integrated manufacturing combines the various technologies like computer aided design, computer aided manufacturing to provide an error free manufacturing process that reduces the manual labor and automates the respective tasks. 
So coming to this CAD tools, what are the different types of tools we are going to use in computer design? So here the main thing is the CPU central processing unit, and it's may it is having some storage unit. Okay, RAM and ROM it will come under this storage uh, secondary storage and output like a printers. Okay, speakers, so all these things will come under this output. It will be connected to the CPU. And this is the graphic terminal or design one. And then input devices. So input devices are like a joystick, like a keyboard. So all these are come under the input devices. And the by means of these input devices, we are going to do some operations. And we can see all these things on the graphic terminal. And this graphic terminal is just like a monitor. And this monitor is kind of internally it is connected with the cpu and this cpu is connected with the like a output devices like a plotters printers speakers all those things and again the cpu is connected to the secondary storage devices also there are so many cad software packages some of them are like autocad microstation solidworks solid edge catia nx cad pro engineer uni graphics so these are all the different types of computer design software packages with the help of this one we can design modify and we can optimize those designs before manufacturing the physical component now coming to the cam tools that is the computer aided manufacturing tools in the product life cycle we have already discussed so in this process planning we have to look for the production planning design and procurement of new tools order the materials and order for the and we have to use this same numerical control programming computer numerical control programming dynamic numerical control programming so these are all the things we have to consider before production itself so how much quality of the components we have to produce based on that one we have to plan so how many days it will take and what are the, is there any procurement of the new tools or not? Are existing tools are enough? And then if it is not enough, then we have to order the materials from the vendors. And then in order to do some machining operations on those components, numerical uh, control programming may use, or computer numerical control programming may use, or dynamic numerical control programming can be used in order to perform the operations on the component. So after that, it will be sent to the production department here the actual machining will be takes place after preparing those components it will be there with the their quality will be control uh, completely checked by this quality control department after checking this quality control of each and every component separately if it is passed in the tests then it will go back it will come to the packaging section and after packaging it will be shipped and after uh, from here it will be transferred to the marketing or to the customers The definition of CAD CAM tool based on their implementation in engineering environment. So design, design and manufacturing tools plus computer. And this computer is going to interact with the software, networking, and hardware. So these are all come under this CAD computer design and computer aided manufacturing tools. Utilization in industrial environment. Why we are going to use this CAD CAM in the industrial environment? Means greater flexibility, reduces the lead times within the limited time or within the less time you can reach the customer requirements, reduce the inventories. So instead of maintaining the large quantities in the inventories, whenever the order received within the customer specified time, we are going to manufacture and accordingly and uh, based on. Uh, so that we can reduce the inventory cost also. The increase is the productivity because of the utilization of these CAD CAM tools or CAD CAM in the industrial environment, we can produce more number of components within the limited time or unit time and improve customer service also. So whatever the customer is expecting, what type of features or what type of service is going to be expecting, those things can be increased by means of this CAD CAM tools and improved quality. So the quality of the components because of the involvement of these computers in the design, manufacturing, planning, manufacturing, and quality control checking, each and everywhere we are going to use this uh, CAD 
and cam related tools so that automatically the quality will be improved. So improved communication with suppliers. So as we are going to using the systems or mails or some other things, so automatically the communication will be fast with the supplier so that the supplier can also send the information to us in a very fast so that the lead time can be reduced like this and the better product design. So with the help of, if you use a manual design, it will take long time. So, but with the uses of these complicated design tools, you can produce very fast manner and we can produce <clears throat> better designs also and greater manufacturing control also. So with the uses of this computer-aided manufacturing tools and computer, we can control this manufacturing process with effectively and supported integration. Means integration is communication between the one department and another department or communication between the one mission to another mission. So because of this one, automatically they will work accordingly based upon the requirements. And finally, very because of all these things, the cost will also reduce. Means we are going to produce the more number of components within the minimum time, so that the cost will be reduced. Increased utilization. So means instead of keeping missions ideally, if you use the computer process control or computer manufacturing, then you can use all the uh, resources effectively and reduce the the mission tools. So it. Uh, if you use these computer controlled mission tools or computer design tools, then we can even you can reduce the mission tools also. Within the limited mission tools, you can produce the more number of components and less floor space is also required. So these are all the benefits with the utilization of these CAD CAM tools in the industrial environment. Evaluation criteria for CAD standards. How we are going to evaluate this? Computer design standards, hardware, what type of hardware we are going to be using and operating system, what type of operating system we are going to use in the systems. Operating system may be Windows operating system, Linux operating system or Mac operating system, like different operating systems are there and what operating system we are going to use in our system and also important user interface, what type of user interface and documentation support, maintenance, modeling capabilities, ease of modeling, how easily we are going to modeling the components with the help of this complicated design and complicated modeling packages and interface with the CAD packages and data transferability. How the data will be transferred from one system to another system or the system to the mission, how the one, uh, data is transferring and design documentation based upon all the, these are all the evaluating uh, criteria in order to find out the standards. Now coming to the CAD data structures, this CAD data can be a 2D or 3D, two dimensional or three dimensional, composed of wireframes, surfaces or solids and represented by polygons or vessels. This competitive design data can be contained underlying spline or identical geometry, gaps between the faces and formats can be done by ASCII or binary. Computer graphics. The term computer graphics describes the use of computers to create and manipulate the images. So here we are going to use these computers to create and manipulate the images. Computer gra these graphics can be of two-dimensional or three-dimensional. The computer graphics is the creation of the manipulation of images or pictures with the help of computers. So the graphics softwares can be divided into three modules. The first one is graphics package, second one is the application program, and third one is the application database. 